Are you going to be going to speak to House Democrats? Absolutely not. Why? Because it's been closed down by Chairman Nunes. I think that the, uh, if you look at this request that uh, Schiff made, the ranking member, it's overly broad. He even asked me for all the documents that I gave the special counsel's office. He's more, the special counsel is more than welcome to give them to Schiff. But if you notice, the Senate didn't ask me for those. The Senate's uh, request, if you compare it, was extremely narrow in scope. What do and they want to know? They want to know, and I'll read it to you. It's right here. It's very, look, you can read it. It's communications or, or records of communications between you and Roger Stone that relate to Russia or Russian persons, organizations, interests, or WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, DC Leaks, Guccifer, or John Podesta between June 16, 2015 and January 2017. They asked me to preserve other documents, including what I gave the special counsel's office. You've I already, think, you've yes. already uh, come on TV and said you're not going to comply with the special counsel and then complied with the special counsel. They have that documentation. You're going to go see the Senate. Um, why come on TV to announce you're not going to go talk to Adam Schiff? What's because I think that this is, I think that this issue, and this shows why uh, Chairman Nunez was right to wind up the House in investigation. I think that this shows that it's overly broad what Schiff asked for. He wants to continue this into perpetuity. And it's frankly a waste of taxpayer time, too, to even draft something like this. What is, here's a guy who says that Rosenstein shouldn't give his memo about the Mueller investigation, explaining the scope of it. He shouldn't give that to Chairman Nunez, but he wants me to give all the Chairman information. Chairman Nunez has a history of, of leaking things. You say that. I don't know, I don't know that. I think Schiff has a history of leaking things. Well, there's. Can there's I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Think, no, more, more than welcome. Well, why is this overbroad? This is overbroad. We'll compare it to the Senate. Why no, would the, the Senate, Senate one talks about Russia and Russian persons, which is because once again, one because once again, sir, he asked me to give him everything that I've given Mueller. Why does he need everything I've given Mueller? If he because wants to get it from Mueller. Well, then why, I don't want to give it to him either. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Um, <laughs> I, 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 you don't have to until he has subpoena power again. Which if he doesn't. If, if the Democrats retake the House. Which they probably is, won't now. Which we don't know yet. We will see what happens. <laughs> um, I want to talk to you, Sam, about non-disclosure agreements. You signed one when you joined the Trump Organization, right? Correct. And I was sued. Um, why? Uh, talk to me about the non-disclosure agreements. Who signs them in the Trump Organization? Well, I can just go over what I had okay. and how it went with me. So I never had an NDA with the president when I worked for then Mr. Trump from around 2011 to around late 2014, when I was brought in on a permanent basis, and I was the first permanent hire, despite what others will say, for the campaign, he then gave me an NDA. And who I signed signs, who, who generally signs NDAs? Who generally? Uh, at the Trump I believe all, per, I, I would guess, all full-time employees and contractors that are devoting 100% of their time to him. But, but also, I don't know that for a fact. All I know is in my experience. In, in, in your experience at the Trump Organization, did you ever hear about NDAs being used for people who were not standard employees of the Trump Organization? I didn't, be, but I'll tell you why, because I didn't ask for things like that. If I didn't need to know, I, I wouldn't ask. How many people they do could you, have been, Katie, they could have been, I just don't know one way or the other. How many people do you think have signed non-disclosure agreements in the Trump Organization? Or in, the, in Trump's world, how many people do you think have well, non-disclosure I, I certainly, agreements I would certainly him? think that everybody that worked on the 26th and the 24th floor as full-time employees signed NDAs. I couldn't give you a good estimate on how many others did. I'm sure people that worked on Apprentice did. I'm sure people that worked on Miss Universe did, as we know. I'm sure people that worked at properties could have, but that's, once again, let me say, so I'm not called back in. Could have. Conjecture. Um, so that would number in, in the hundreds of people, if not more. It could, sure. What about like the doorman at the building? Have they signed non non I, don't, I would have no idea. Anybody entering know. into any sort of contract with Donald Trump, would they be subject to a, a non-disclosure agreement? Uh, maybe, maybe not. It depends on what it depends on what they were doing, right? I mean, it's not a non-disclosure agreement. I, I'm not sure because that's a pretty broad question in itself. I don't know. Certainly. Legally, legally speaking, mm -hmm. how do prosecutors view agreements like that? Well, the grand jury power supersedes any non-disclosure agreement, so they are not a bar to getting the information that, that Mr. Nunberg might have, even if he had signed a non-disclosure agreement. So it's not really relevant uh, too much to what Bob Mueller is doing or, or perhaps at the Southern District in Michael Cohen's investigation. Is anybody worried that all of the non-disclosure agreements that are out there with this organization and with, with the Stormy Daniels stuff that's mm -hmm. hanging over um, the president's head and with the other hush money payments that could be out there, um, that maybe this president is, is open to something as serious as blackmail on, on a much broader scale? Well, I don't think he'd be open to black. I mean, let's say Stormy Daniels came to him and said, I want to tell the public about the fact that we had a one-night affair and you gave me $130,000. Big deal. 
Now, blackmail, in term, it could be for any politician if, if anything happened on foreign soil. I have no reason to believe that it did. So that could be what you're referencing. I don't think that there is an issue if he had non-disclosures with other women. It would be politically embarrassing, perhaps. Perhaps it wouldn't. But is it something to be used over him? No. Did you ever hear the president talk about more hush money agreements or more contracts to silence other women? I'm not going to talk about that one way or the other. Well, you were asked by the, in the grand jury about that, weren't you? I was, and that's a sealed testimony. So, but I, you can you it's sealed testimony. I don't. But you I can don't say it. whatever you said. I could, and I'm not. What else do you want to know, Daniel? <laughs> oh, I got a lot to know. Okay, I'd love, Daniel, a lot go of for it. Ask a question. And he well, can I'd ask whatever to. he wants. And guess what, Daniel? I can answer. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let's go. I, I don't. I no longer have subpoena power. <laughs> but um, I would tell you. Here's what I would tell you. Is I would tell you as I've said. Um, on record, and this is one reason why Adam, sh I'm not going to give the Mueller, uh, the information I gave uh, Robert Mueller, because it's really, he doesn't need it, Schiff, is they did discuss everything concerning, and I gave testimony in the grand jury, everything concerning Roger Stone, and what Roger told me in terms of Julian Assange. Um, once again, as I have said, they asked me what I knew about situations like that. Yeah. And that's all I'll go into. And you have answered them. I've 100% answered them, and I would say. Truthfully. I'm just asking. Yes, truthfully. Do, and does the president know of hush money payments to other women? Uh, I would guess so, sure. You would guess so, or do you know? I don't know. I don't know for a fact. Anything, I never reviewed anything, so I don't know. Have you heard I've, him talk about it? I don't want to discuss that. Sam Nunberg, thank you very much. <laughs> Let us know what happens with Adam Schiff. You can ask him, because I'm not even going to contact him.